On a sunny Saturday morning, the Johnson family set out for a day of delight at the Grand Carnival of Wonders. The carnival, nestled on the outskirts of their town, promised a kaleidoscope of colors, the sweet scent of cotton candy, and the distant sound of laughter that hinted at the joyous adventures awaiting them. As they entered the carnival grounds, young Alexander and Betty's eyes widened with wonder. The air was alive with the melody of a whimsical carousel, and the vibrant tents beckoned with promises of games, rides, and surprises. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, delighted by their children's excitement, held their hands, ready to explore the magic together. Their first stop was the enchanted carousel, adorned with mythical creatures that seemed to come alive with every spin. Alexander and Betty, face painted with joy, chose to ride a majestic unicorn. As the carousel whirled, Alexander felt like she was soaring through the clouds, her laughter blending with the cheerful music. Next, they strolled through the lollipop lane, a street filled with stalls offering sweets of every imaginable color and flavor. Betty's eyes sparkled as she indulged in a swirl of cotton candy, and her parents couldn't help but join in the sugary delight. The Johnson family then ventured to the Giggle Coaster, a roller coaster that promised giggles and thrills. Alexander and Betty, with a mix of excitement and apprehension, clutched their parents' hands as the coaster zipped through twists and turns. The wind in their hair and the laughter echoing around created memories that would linger for a lifetime. In the heart of the carnival, they discovered the storybook corner, where characters from beloved tales came to life. Mrs. Johnson, a lover of stories, regaled Alexander and Betty with tales of brave knights and enchanted princesses, while Mr. Johnson playfully donned a wizard's hat, casting imaginary spells that filled the air with laughter. Amid the laughter and joy, the Johnsons stumbled upon the wishing well. Betty's eyes gleaming with curiosity, tossed a coin into the well and made a wish. Unbeknownst to her, the wish wasn't for herself, but for her family to always find happiness together. As the sun began to set, painting the sky in hues of pink and orange, the Johnsons gathered for a final treat, a magical puppet show under the starry sky pavilion. The puppets danced and twirled, weaving a tale of love, laughter, and the importance of cherishing special moments with family. As the Johnsons left the carnival, their hearts full of warmth and memories, Alexander and Betty turned to their parents with a beaming smile. In that moment, they realized that the true magic of the carnival wasn't in the rides or the sweets, but in the joy they shared as a family. The moral of carnival dreams was clear. In the tapestry of life, the threads of love, laughter, and shared experiences are the most precious. The Johnsons discovered that happiness wasn't found in the grandeur of the carnival, but in the simple moments of togetherness. And so, the tale of the Johnson family's day at the Grand Carnival of Wonders became a cherished memory, passed down through generations. The story was not just a recount of a day filled with laughter and love, it was a reminder that the true magic of life lies in the bonds we create with those we hold dear. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more enchanting stories.